Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to set up uh, both course play and auto drive to hopefully 100% fully automate our silage harvest. So uh, let's see. First thing we want to do is where did I leave my tractor? I must be. I must have left it over here. All right, let's hop out of here. Yeah, there's the fence over there. Okay, so uh, in the last episode, if you didn't catch that, we set up a couple of fermenting silos, and the plan is, as we expand, got some eggs to pick up there, uh, we'll continue adding more silos. So we did two to start with, and then the plan is to, to put, you know, two, maybe even three more, actually, if we can fit them all in here, um, in this, you know, just going along the line here. So now what we want to do is we want to set up an auto drive course. So first thing is, well, you know what? Actually, we could get, we could get the, um, the mower going right now. I just want to check the, the course that I had originally done for this and, uh, possibly make a couple tweaks for it. So let's bring the mower over there. Okay, um, it looks like we could actually stand to repair and refuel this. So let me get that taken care of first, and then I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, let's bring up uh, course play. And uh, try feel. Okay, so we want to remove that course. And we want to come into here. Actually, let's let's load... This is field 5354. Let's load hay harvest. Load course, activate. Um, okay, so now I want to uh, go here and click on the hay harvest course, open the generator. So let's see, I wanna do headland, I wanna do smooth. I wanna do Start working headland. Headland corners are smooth. Up and down. Rows to skip. Rows per land. Uh, where is... Let's do three headlands, too, by the way. Where's the, th there, there's supposed to be a thing where you can like tell it to overlap on the headland, but I'm not seeing that here. Is it because, uh, rows to skip, rows per land? No, we don't want that. Advanced is bypass mode circle. Have they changed this? Because there's a bunch of updates. Let's try this instead. Let's go, um, let's go back into here. Here. Uh, no, let's go here for a second. And let's get back out of this course. And let's just create a new course. Number of headlands, headlands smooth, up and down, rows to skip. Yeah, they must have changed that option because I'm not seeing it in here anymore unless it's in a different place in the menu. Show course, open HUD with mouse, only turning on the field. Actually, I have that. I want that to be deactivated. Early tool offset horizontal. Okay, yeah, I don't know, man. It looks like they must have removed the option because you, what you could do is you could tell it to overlap a little bit, which would help with it not missing the corners, but I'm not seeing that option here. Okay, well, in that case, let's just load... If we load this course and activate it, uh, and go back here for a minute, it keeps the headlands at three. Okay, that's the main thing I wanted to make sure, because we kind of need three headlands on this field. Working with is 32.8. All right, so if we go here and clicking on that, we'll just make sure that it is. We don't need an offset. And I think... I think we should be good to go. So we're at first waypoint, and let's get it started. Let's 
so we're just going to let this guy run and do his thing. Um, he should be on swath mode too, right? Yes, he is. Okay. He or she. She. All right, now, here's what's going to happen next. What we have to do is we have to create an auto drive course. And this should actually be really easy to do uh, based upon the position of everything. I'm just trying to think this through a little bit. So. Since we have to do these three fields, yeah, it's probably going to be better for them to start over here. Oh, oh, actually, yeah, you know what? We need we need to get. Um, I completely forgot about this. We got to get a forage trailer. Uh, we're just going to lease one for now until one comes up for sale and then I'll I'll buy one once, you know, once one of the probably the I mean ultimately I think I want the biggest one but they're really expensive. They're like over 100 grand. On the other hand, we could just take out a quick temporary loan and get one and be done with it. But nah, I don't think I'll do that cuz I want to you know, if one comes up for sale, I haven't even looked at the sales by the way. What do we got in here? That's a sugar beet auger wagon. There's, ooh, nice X9 combine. Really nice X9 combine. The thing is, though, is it only it only holds um, sixteen thousand two hundred liters, whereas our our um, class combine that we bought holds like eighteen thousand. So for that reason alone, plus we already have it anyways, the class, and it's all paid for. So anyway, nice. Nice combine, though. Okay, so let's go into the store, and we want to find forage wagons. So there's a couple things we could do. We could buy an inexpensive one because we know we're going to need, need it. In fact, I really want two of these. So, but the, you know, the really nice ones are, are pretty doggone expensive. But we could, I mean, you know, we're making so much money now from the greenhouses that we could just buy it and call it good. And then if, you know, one comes up for sale later, we could sell the new one and buy the used one, get a little, a little bit of the money back. Uh, so this one's 49.5 and that one's 50. They both require 300 horsepower. This one's just a little bit heavier. So for, for 500 liters more, it's, it's another 1500 bucks for the Stroutman. I, I, I actually should look on the Mod Hub, too, to see what's on there. I haven't, I haven't even looked at that. In fact, you know what? That's a good idea. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm just going to take a quick look on the Mod Hub. All right, guys. So um, I figured out um, a forage trailer, a forage wagon, and it is the... Lizard Tardis M. I got this off of the Mod Hub, and it's a 50,000 liter forage trailer for only like I don't know 5,500 or $55,000. So about half the price of the in-game stuff. Um, so I went ahead and leased it though, and if I like it, I'll I'll either lease it to own or just or, or just buy it or wait for it to come on sale. But I think I'm going to actually get another one too, because once I get this up and running, I'm not going to have anything to do myself. So I might as well also be. Uh, you know, working to pick uh, the hay up and that sort of thing. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do, uh, as you can see, I got the crone uh, Big M out there uh, doing the mowing, uh, following the course play course. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a course now for to, uh, to automate basically the pickup. So the first step to doing that, there, there's two major steps to doing this. First, you have to set up a, an auto drive course, um, and then you have to assign a course play course to the uh, the tractor and then turn them loose and they they work together and it's really pretty cool how it works so let's go ahead and start up here 
Now I'm going to try and set this up so I only have to do one course for all three of my fields here. Um, and because of that, I, I'm actually starting kind of over here rather than next to the current fields. And I want to back up a little bit more too so we're kind of more in the middle. Uh, so basically this course is going to serve us all, all three of our, our hay fields here. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go into Auto Drive and set the uh, editor on. And I've already got um, a lane here. But I think... I mean, I guess we could tap into this lane here, couldn't we? Yeah, we, we actually could. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and set a target on this node and we're gonna call this um, forage pickup okay now we're going to uh, drive down along here oh wait a minute hold on hold the fort that's um this is going the wrong direction I really should probably have a two-way along this road here. Um, this whole thing should probably be a two-way, really, but... Eh. The thing about the two-ways, though, is I've been told that if you make longer ones, it can cause some issues when you have multiple machines uh, using auto drive at the same time. But I don't know, it probably would make sense though for this to be a two-way all the way down because it's such a narrow lane. But uh, you know what, I'm not going to complicate things for myself right now though, so let's let's just create a separate course for now. And I might find, you know, I might fine tune it later. So let's go in here um... Uh, select this one that we just created and we're just going to delete it and we'll, we'll do our own okay so we're going to kind of just move over to the side a little bit here and we're going to start recording and this this one here are we hooked to it yeah okay so this one here we're going to name uh, forage pickup Now what we're going to do is we're just going to drive along here. And pull around into here. And drive straight through the unload areas. And we want to drive past the um, the drop-off point. Maybe, maybe even one more. I'm thinking there. Okay, this one we're going to name forage unload. Very good. Okay. And now what we're going to do is pull out here and come around and just reconnect. With forage pickup. Okay, stop recording and join those two up. Very good. Okay. So, uh, let's save, let's save the game at this point. All right. Now the next thing we want to do is I want to actually drive over to this field over here for a second and get on the field. I want to check something here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to course play. And we're going to load a course. 
Uh, no, we want to load uh, the same exact course that the mower is using. That's really important, so it follows the same exact path. Okay, so we're going to grab the hay harvest course. Uh, we're going to load it and activate it. And um, we're going to turn, uh, we'll just keep the start and end points on for now. All right, now, if we go back into here and open up the course generator, I just want to make sure that it's set to three headlands, which it is. And then we start on the headland, and we have smooth corners, and that looks about what we want to have. Very good. Okay. So now, let's pull back around to just before the uh, auto drive target, the forge pickup auto drive par tar target. Incidentally, if you guys are interested in the Lizard TARDIS M, the mod author also made a TARDIS XL, but it has a ridiculous, it, it's like, it's the same physical size as this, but it has like 200,000 liters. And I'm going, nah, that's a little bit OP. So definitely, if you get this, get the TARDIS M, unless, of course, you know, you don't care about being completely unrealistic. In which case, more power to you, because I won't lose any sleep over it. Uh, all right, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to go to uh, here we want to change this to pick up and deliver and we set the first waypoint to oh you know what too let's do this let's create a new folder and we're going to call this uh, forage harvest okay and then we will put both of these into the forage harvest folder and so we set the first the pickup point to forage pickup and we set the drop-off point to forage unload or the unload point and of course we are working with grass okay so that part's done and now what should happen oh the other thing too is you'll you'll see that I, I loaded uh, bond silage uh, so we have uh, this does have a some tanks right there in the front as you can see I had to get that as extra equipment. And then I still had quite a bit of the bonsai just left over from, you know, several episodes ago over in the shed. So I loaded that up too. Because I needed to actually do a little bit of testing before I started the recording on this anyhow. Uh, all right. So I think we're good to go. So what we do now is we close the editor and we click on this little course play icon. And we're basically telling AutoDrive to use the course play course that we've loaded. Okay, and then what we do is we start auto drive, and then it should be automated from here. So let's just watch and see what happens. He's kind of thinking about things. He got to the waypoint. Okay, so it, I don't know if you noticed this in the video or not, but if you look at the course play window on the right hand side of my screen, the play arrow turned to green. And that's because basically what happened is auto drive passed the the AI over to course play. He said, okay, it's your turn, course play. So now he now we're actually on course play. And he's going through and picking up uh, picking up the hay automatically. I'm and I'm hands free. I'm I'm not driving. You can see that there's a, an actual worker, AI worker in the tractor. And this is happening automatically, which is really doggone cool. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, wait until the forest trailer is completely full. And then what should happen is the AI will pass back to auto drive. And auto drive will then take the tractor uh, over to the silo and offload in the silo. Okay, so let's... Let's just watch this and, and wait for this to get completely filled up. Okay, now it's switched back to auto drive, and we know that because the green player was turned off on course play, and the auto drive window, this is all on the right hand side again, so it shows forage unload as the target destination.
Now it's going to skip the first silo and unload at the. S uh, never mind. It's. Hmm. Okay. When I tested this first time, I went to the first silo. Now, one thing I'm not sure about is when the second silo is completely full, if it'll continue to pull forward to the first silo. And there's, of course, no way for me to know that until uh, until this one gets completely filled up. All right, now, why, what we're going to do next is we're going to grab this, uh, and we're going to go to Grass Silage and activate this. And we'll keep this on storing for now. Now, one thing I'm curious about, I wonder if if you set this to distributing, if it would actually distribute it to another silo. Um, that's something we might have to play around with at some point in the near future once we get a, a multi-fruit silo. Okay, so now what's happening here is the AI is just following the course back around. And as soon as it hits, here, as soon as it hits the waypoint, okay, it just now did. Now see the course play green arrow just lit up and now we're back to course play and, and auto drive is turned off. So it's really cool how that works, man. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. And so what this, what'll happen now is it'll just drive back to where it left off and continue on and, and go from there and wash, rinse, repeat. So it's pretty neat. Okay, and it looks like our mower is done out there. So what I'm gonna do is, let's just make sure. Oh, we got a new worker. That's interesting. I wonder, I wonder if it switches workers when it switches back and forth between course play and auto drive. All right, looks like it's working good. So we're going to flip over now to the mower uh, right here. And before I get this one started on the next fields, I'm just going to, you know, pick up the stuff that was missed. And obviously, you know, I'm going to have to come along at the very end and and pick up the you know the miss stuff but that's that's to be expected okay so we'll just have to get the corners and go along the ends of the uh, of the up and down rows I don't think I'm going to worry about that little tuft of grass over there. It's kind of hard to get anyway. Now I could, especially on this field, I could put the V-rake on front of the tractor. And it would probably help it get some of this stuff. But for the first time around, I don't want to complicate things. So we'll just leave it as it is for the moment. So I'll get all this stuff that was missed. And I'll also get our little patch of grass over there. That's... I'm just going to do that when I'm on my own. It's it'll be easier. All right, so we got uh, all the dregs off of this field. Our workers doing a pretty good job so far. So let's take the mower over here. And I do have a I do have a course for this field, but it's so small that I think I'm just going to do it myself. So yeah, let's just get this one knocked out ourselves. Okay, I got a message uh, saying that the driver couldn't reach the destination. I have no idea why. I wonder if it's because I didn't put the loading waypoint on the field that it, you know, that he's working. But it worked the first time, so I'm not really sure. Here, let's just put a normal AI worker on this for now. Finish up. And see if we can figure out what the heck's going on here. So why wouldn't it be able to drive back? Especially since it was able to the first time. Is it a distance thing? Hmm. 
Hmm. Driver 1050 can't reach forage unload. It should drive back to the load point. So why can't it reach it? Hmm. I don't know. I'm confused. If we get it closer, what's it do? Driver of 1050 can't reach forage unload. What happens if we activate this? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give it a couple of moments because it might be thinking. Okay, um, let's turn this back off then. If I put it along the path, what will it do? To my knowledge, it's not supposed to have an auto drive. It doesn't need an auto drive path. It's supposed to go back to the waypoint and then get on the path. But it almost seemed like that was the issue. Okay, well, let's let it continue on and see what happens here. Man, I sure hate to get caught in those things. Okay, looks like our AI uh, mowing is done over here. Looks like there's a spot or two that they missed. Let's get over to this field now. And what we want to do is temporary course. That's weird. Okay, clear that. Go here. Go here. This is field 50. Or no, this is the tri, tri fields. Uh, tri fields hay harvest. Load course. Activate. Load the generator, make sure it's on three headlands, which it is. That's all, all looks good. And we want it to start at the first waypoint and let's let it go do its thing. So it'll dry. I think the first waypoint's way up at the corner there. So it'll drive up, should drive up there and just get started. Very good. Okay. Now, um, we, we should actually be able to take this little extra shaft because I'm planning on removing this bunker once I, I'm done with the silage in it. In fact, I wonder if we could even drop drop the silage in in those um, silos. We could try that, but let's jump in the telehandler while he's out there still working. He or she. Okay, looks like that's the best I can do for now and it says somebody's blocked by an object don't think it's the mower because the, yeah the mower's working oh did he get piled up into a tree dang it I figured three headlands would prevent that from happening but apparently not what in the heck were you doing Hmm. Now, probably what we can do here is just do near uh, nearest waypoint and start this, but hopefully it'll patch back in with um, auto drive. And the other question, too, is why is it doing the up and downs now when there's still another 
head, uh, headland row. I don't know. It's almost like it didn't do the headland row. If we do this... Oh, yeah. See, it's only on two headlands, so it didn't... It didn't seem to load the three headlands. So I'm probably going to have to delete the saved file and redo it with three headlands. Because, yeah, that, that's why it piled into the tree. Okay, well, at least we understand why now. Okay, well, let's just let it, you know, keep doing its thing for now. And we're obviously going to have to babysit it a little bit. But that's kind of to be expected, I suppose. Let's go back to here. Now, I want to see if this will let me just dump this right into the silo, the fermenting silo. Looks like it. Nice. Okay, and then we'll go over here and tell it to convert uh, the shaft or activate it uh, and turn that into silage too. Now the next question that I have is can we dump silage directly into here and just store it? My guess is probably not, but let's try it anyway just to see what happens. Because if we can then I'll just clear all this out now and get rid of this bunker right now so if it accumulates on the ground then we know it's not working also just uh, okay so we currently have 542 liters in there so if this works we should have 5542 liters or close to it Nope, won't let me do it. Okay, well, now we know. That's That would have been my guess. You know, I'm just going to leave this here as is. So when we do our next mixture, we can just dump it right on in. Okay, so let's see, how we doing? You're doing your thing here. Looks like you're doing pretty good. Yeah, this only has two headlands as well. I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna need to redo all of these. Because the problem is that the files that I saved originally only have two headlands. And when I, I, I can manually switch it to three, but that doesn't per persist in the saved file which makes sense so before we start field 50 uh, we'll we'll redo it but since the you know he's already started here we'll just work with it for now okay let's check our other dude okay you're gonna get yourself stuck in the trees he's 98 percent full and okay, he managed to get around the trees there I'll just have to do the third headland this time around uh, what the heck are you doing? Oh, I see. He's lining up for this next row. So, I mean, this is working reasonably well. Um, you know, the issue with the headlands my fault for not loading the correct files. So, I'm, I'm pretty pleased overall. I'm just not quite sure why it said it couldn't get to the waypoint when it was done. So, let's just see what it does now. Okay, so that, that time it did it. So, it switched automatically switched over to... Auto drive. I wonder if it, again, if, if it just had something to do with how far away it was, maybe, or something. Not really sure. And the other thing, too, is why is it going to forage pickup first? Oh, I wonder if it's because I had to restart it. All right, let's just see what it does.
Okay, looking good. All right, I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go jump in the New Holland and I'm going to lease a second forage trailer. Um, this is no, where's the New Holland? It is right here. And that way I can also be, you know, picking up uh, on the side fields and that sort of thing. While the AI is working on the main fields. So let's go into here. We'll go into here. We'll go into forage wagons. Grab the TARDIS M. Uh, we want a silage additive tank on there. Don't really care what, about the color so much. Let's lease it. Well, you know what? Actually, I do because if we end up keeping these... Um, let's make this, this one, New Holland blue. So this will be for the New Holland tractor. Okay. And yeah, what I, what I may actually end up doing is just keeping both of these trailers and we'll use lease to own unless something better comes on sale in the meanwhile. The uh, bond silage pallets right in this little shed over here. So let's just back up and load it. Nice. Oh, it looks like our mower's done. So let's stop this and get the mower started on the next field. Oh, I guess we need to uh, pick up the stuff that they missed, too. All right, now what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the menu. And we're going to go to field 50. We're going to load the hay harvest uh, or open the course. I might create problems for these. No, that's not. That's for manually doing a course. Uh, okay, let's go back there again for a second. Um, I'm pretty sure this only has two headlands as well, so we're just going to delete this. Uh, change mode, delete entry, activate. Yes. Okay, now let's generate a new course. We want three headlands. Yeah, that's exactly what we want there. Okay, so generate fieldwork course. And it's done it on 50 there with three headlands. We're mostly doing that because of the trees on this end uh, can cause problems otherwise. Now, if we go here, we're in field 50 and we save the course, we activate it. We call this um, F50 hay harvest. There we go. All right, good. So we've saved that. Now, what we're going to do is go, oh, it looks like it's already loaded. Uh, where is the first waypoint? It's right here. Okay, should we should be gold. Should be golden. And that should do three headlets. 
Okay, how's our other guy doing? Looks like they're still out there working, so that's good. Very good sign. Okay, let's hop back into you. Oh, we gotta drop the pickup. And back at it. All right, guys, I'm back with an update here, and I'm just kind of, I got the V-Ray hooked up, as you can see, and just kind of cleaning up the remainder on this field here. I've got, uh, the mowing is all completely finished, so I got the mower put away, and the AI worker is currently working on the tri-fields, uh, getting that hay picked up. And I had another situation where it alerted me saying it couldn't find the, the path to the drop-off point so I haven't really figured out exactly why that's happening yet so you know hopefully it'll become apparent to me later on but it's only the second time it's happened overall so I mean <clears throat> as long as it only happens on occasion that's better than it happening all the time obviously <laughs> so anyway yeah I'm, I'm just gonna keep cracking here and uh, keep working on this and I'll bring you back uh, with another update here in just a little while all right, guys, I'm back with an, <coughs> excuse me, with an update. So we filled this silo completely up. It is chocked full. And um, what happened then is this guy got stuck here. He, he wasn't able to detect that this one was full, but I also didn't get any messages either. He just sat there, tried to unload, trying to unload and he wasn't able to. Um, so I think what we have to do in that particular case, and that's going to complicate things too when we have even more silos. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's. Um, he's just got a little tiny bit more to pick up on field 50 there. I've got the other two tractors um, rolling right now on the fields using uh, course plate. So why don't we... Let's let's just drive him over to where he left off, or, or close to it anyway. Uh, I had a couple more instances, I think, where he said he couldn't find the waypoint, but then sometimes he can. So I don't know why that what what's going on with that, unless it's because maybe I have, you know, so many other auto drive routes going through the property that it confuses him. That's the only thing I can think of. But anyway, oh, he's out of. Um, bond silos too, but we're almost done, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. So let's just tell him to go to the nearest waypoint and see what he, what he does. I've got just a little bit in the corners and stuff that I need to pick up, but I'll I'll take care of that in in a little while. Okay, finished work. Is he not going to go back to auto drive now? Or do I have to turn that on? Okay, it looks like he is now. So it seems to me like this whole setup would certainly work better if we were in a a bigger field without a bunch of trees and other crap in the way um, and maybe like I said maybe it's just because I have so many other auto drive courses set up that 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 could be what's potentially confusing now, why is he going that way because he's back on course play now because this is lit up green hmm okay, let's just see what he does here Nope, he's yeah, he's a bit confused as to what to do. Okay, well then I guess we're gonna have to take over um, and pick up the rest of this.
And then, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure what I can do to improve upon the situation. I mean, overall, it worked. And, you know, it, it's definitely worth doing. But it certainly didn't work perfectly, and there, there were definitely some issues. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. Oh, that's the shadow from the course play thingy. All right, let's drive up here and see if there are any, if there's anything left. Now, as long as we just have two silos, all I have to do is just move the, you know, reverse the course so they're coming through the other way um, to hit, you know, that silo. So I'm not too worried about that. Get this little patch right here. But once we get three silos lined up, then then I'm not sure how that part's going to work. So I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Or maybe it'll be a situation where we can't have, you know, three silos lined up in a row. But it looks like that's it for the hay. Okay, so we'll drop this off. So yeah, we completely filled up one silo. Now, you know, this was the first stage hay cutting. So the next one we do is going to be a second stage hay cutting, which means we're going to have even more hay. So that means we will definitely fill up that other silo um, and need even more space after that. Because uh, this currently has uh, 2,000 liters of grass in it, so just a tiny bit. Uh, but let's activate that and start turning that into silage too. And then our other uh, stave silo is packed full of grass and uh, has so far generated 3,060 liters of silo, which is great. Okay, cool. Okay, we can turn that off. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here um, and just get help help the two AIs, uh, you know, AI workers get everything rolled out in the fields. And then let's see, we're going to, we're going to come into April and let's actually look at s uh, sales. Cause I, April, I think is when we sell clothing and we're going to make a nice little chunk of change on that for sure. Uh, no, we want this. So clothing, yeah, April's our clothing. So so we'll be selling clothing uh, in April and extra fabric that we have left over. We should sell that too. And I don't think there's anything else that's April that we have. A uh, wool, we could sell wool straight up too if we wanted to. Because, you know, we have a surplus of that. So we could do that too. We could sell the, the wool if we wanted to. Uh, chocolate com comes back up again in May, so we might do that. And then uh, butter, cake, bread, flour. Just kind of looking real quick to see what the prices are doing here. Oh, and eggs. Well, eggs, looks like eggs isn't going to be good until October, so we'll wait on that. Okay, so yeah, it looks like uh, clothing and fabric and wool for next month for sale so i will bring you guys back uh, most likely i'll bring you back at the end of april uh, for those sales and then we'll move into may and then you know see how we're doing money wise so guys that is it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye